Hello and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I will show you the simplest approach to create a first-person controller for game development. In this video, I will merely import a prefab item from the Unity Asset Store and will not discuss any C-sharp coding. So, what is exactly a first-person controller? Well, any first-person games require a first-person controller or shooter, we call it as FPS. It is utilized in the game in which the main character is controlled from a first-person perspective. The usual FPS keyboard controls are W, A, S, D, or the four arrows to walk and use mouse to look around. So, let's get started. First, let's create an area for your FPS to move around in. Now, I'm heading to Unity Asset Store and import a furnished cabin asset from Johnny Caspi. The link to this asset can be found in the description box below. As usual, open in Unity, then click Download and Import. Then from the project panel, drag the cabin prefab to the window. Then return to the Unity Asset Store to look for the free FPS. I'm going to go with the mini first person controller from Simon Parsi and you can read the function from the description and in this FPS you can move and look around, run and also jump. You click download and import then drag it into your scene. Well let's resize it a little because it is too big. Hit the play button. Um, it is too short. Perhaps we should make it a bit taller. And you can try an error to find how much height you prefer. Well, that's all I have for today's video. In the next video, I will demonstrate on how to include a hand model in your game. So stay tuned, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!